So this video is focused on rate of reaction and pressure uh, and how it affects collision theory. Collision theory being the essence of how we explain rate of reaction. Uh, so you've got cartoon here, first of all. We've got a low pressure situation versus a high pressure situation. In the low pressure situation, we have um, a larger volume and a set number of gaseous molecules or particles. In the high pressure situation, we have the smaller volume but the same number of gas particles. And that smaller space is creating a greater frequency or number of collisions per second. So how to explain this in an IGC manner? We know that high pressure is creating a faster rate of reaction. Why? Well, as always, state how the factor works initially. There are the same number of reactant gas molecules or particles but in a smaller volume in the high pressure situation, a smaller volume with the same number of gas particles. That will cause a greater frequency of collisions to occur per second. If there's a greater collision, uh, frequency of collisions per second, there are more collisions happening per second. That will lead to a greater proportion or number of successful collisions per second and hence a faster rate of reaction. Stands to reason, if there are simply more collisions happening per second, proportionately inside this box, more of them will be successful and that is why the rate of reaction is faster. So again, try and avoid using the word chance or probability because it's not really favoured, it's not really the thing we want to hear. Try and focus on the factual idea that there are more collisions per second occurring and there are more successful collisions per second occurring as a result of that and that's what makes the rate of reaction faster. Hopefully this is helping you to build your linguistic confidence with rates and get these answers word perfect every single time and I look forward to talking to you about catalysts next.